So you mainly get two kinds of soaps that people generally make at home. You'd get the natural handmade soap or cold process soap, and then you get glycerin soap. So cold process soap is the one where you will take oil and mix it with a lye mixture to cause saponification. Saponification, big fancy word, really means that you're taking that oil and turning it into a soap. So that takes time. So it's quite a lengthy process. To mix it doesn't take long, but then you need to leave the soap to cure for up to six weeks for that process to take place naturally and to get rid of all the lye so that it's safe to use. So cold process soaps are wonderful and you play around with so many different variations. Glycerine soaps are also known as melt and pour. So those are much quicker, much simpler, where you would basically buy a base from a supplier, you take it home, you literally melt it, add your different fragrances, your colors, and then pour it into a mold, let it set, and you can use it pretty much straight away. So those are the two main options. Each has their pros and cons, but they are both fabulous ways to start a beauty business by selling soaps. You can sell them as gifts, do funny little shapes, do a basic shape, whatever. There are so many different ways. You can be very arty and crafty, especially when you're doing cold process soap and you start getting really fancy with different butters and oils and mixtures and make it look like cakes and all these amazing things. I'm sure you've seen all of those all over the social media with the different options you can do. And as well with the glycerine soaps, you can do it layered like this one is with a different kind of soap and really making them funky and interesting. So it's a fun way to start a beauty business.